going on world i go by the name of ca revolution and this is react before we even get into the video please do me a favor and hit the subscribe button or subscribe to the page um like share comment of course but i want to make sure you're getting all the new content as it's coming out hot off the press that way you're in tune with what's going on today i want to talk about you not being afraid of the dark so today's topic is do not be afraid of the dark Life in general sometimes can make us afraid of what we don't know. And a lot of times when we feel like we're in the dark about something, it takes us to a place of fear, of doubt, worry, concern, anxiety. Another thing it does is it takes control away from us. So for all my control freaks out there who just absolutely have to know what's going on, who have to map things out and things have to go exactly how, how they foreseen it in their head, it stops you from being in control. I want to just encourage you to not be afraid of the dark. Dark. Don't be afraid because you may not know exactly what the next step is, where exactly you're going to go, how exactly you're going to land, who exactly you're going to meet. Don't be afraid of that kind of stuff. In fact, in times when you feel like you're in the dark, think about it like going to the restroom in the middle of the night. It's okay to feel around and see what's going on. Take slow steps so that way you don't do what? You don't hurt yourself. You don't run into something. You don't cause panic with someone else. That's a, these are bars. But what can you do? You can get a feel for the room. You can feel around and, and make adjustments. And what else? You can move slower. Just move slowly. So that way you don't run into something. You don't do what? You don't hurt yourself. You don't cause panic with someone else that may be there. You don't freak out. You don't break something. In life, it's the same exact thing. Just move a little slow when you feel like you're going through these different dark moments to get a feel for what's going on. If we're being honest, darkness can leave us in a stagnant manner. It can leave us frozen and afraid to take risks. It can make us not willing to explore things. It can make us closed and stay into some sort of confinement so you're not actually making the progressive steps you need. I think about when I was a kid and I used to, of course, like a lot of kids, feel like it was a monster under the bed, but I wake up in the middle of the night because I snuck and I got some water and now I have to go to the restroom. Well, here's a decision that has to be made. I'm either going to do something that I know I'm going to get in trouble for and I'm afraid of that or I'm I'm going to take these steps off this bed and run to the restroom. And I'm afraid of that too. A lot of times when we're in the dark, it does the same thing. It just ignites fear in us. The thing that I was afraid of never existed. 10 times out of 10, it didn't exist. Nine times out of 10, when I chose logic over fear, it didn't hurt me. So in this video, what I want to talk about is how you can use the darkness as a training ground to help you manifest things and bring things to light. See what I did there? Bring things to light. In darkness, the thing that has to be understood is it's definitely about perception. When you think about your body, the only part of your body that actually has light in it is your eyes. Your eyes is the only thing that actually carries light, that actually brings light in. Light only comes in upon illumination. If you were to split a body, open it up, then light comes in, but your whole entire body is already dark. So what does that mean? That means you're capable of being comfortable in darkness. The light that people refer to that's inside you is something that we'll address a little bit later on. The thing that I want you to be comfortable with is not being in darkness, but being in the dark. Again, when you're in the dark, there are so many things you can do to adjust until you begin to illuminate things and things begin to light up. We should all understand that we're all capable of seeing. And even if you can't see, that doesn't mean you don't have vision. Just because things are not going exactly the way you've seen them going, it doesn't mean that the way you envision it in your mind, that can't happen with time, with discipline, with diligence, with different, with tenacity. You know, you can still manifest these things, even though it may seem dark, it may look dark. I'll tell you of a dark time for me. And if I'm being completely transparent, it still peaks its head at times. So these are, this is a time where I'm in a, a dark place. I, I dropped out of college. And this is why I just did not think that I was smart enough for school. I, I, I never really was a big school fanatic. Um, I usually went there so I can eat when I was younger, especially. I, did, I, I didn't dress the best. I did have some pretty cool friends, um, but I felt very insecure. But one of the insecurities is because I didn't think I was smart enough. So I finished high school, fortunately, and then I went to college. And in college, it was a community college. I felt like, hey, you know, if I'm, this is like, this is where I'm supposed to be because I have a vision for my life, I have a vision for how I see myself living, but I didn't think that I was actually smart enough, but I still took the risk. I went to college and guess what? I dropped out first semester. I couldn't do it. Didn't make sense to me. The, the math wasn't math and uh, things were not adding up for me. I just did not understand. But again, even though it was dark, 
I still had a vision. Even though I couldn't see, I still had a vision. And in my, in my mind, I kept telling myself, you deserve more. You should get more. You should have more. So what did I do? I had to get a feel. I had to move slower. I had to take alternative steps. I had to reassess and reevaluate some things when I was in my dark moment. And, 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 and what I did is I began to shed light. I began to speak. I began to look. I began to change different directions. And it led me going back to school. So I got my associate degree uh, that gave me a better um, level of confidence it shed more light on the big picture for me I was able to take a little bit bigger step and I was able to welcome more light into my life and the the light at the end of the tunnel it became a little more bright because I began to change my perspective and it led to me going to Central State University uh, in what before Ohio an amazing college and I was and I graduated from there and I've been able to live more closely to the standard that I set for myself in the vision that I had because I was constantly not being afraid of being, being uncomfortable when I was in my dark moments I consistently personally and push through it because I just add more light. I add more faith, which is what that light represents. I added more faith into the situation. My faith has been my guiding light through different trials and tribulations for a very long time. When we talk about getting comfortable when you're in the dark, the reason I say that is because you're not always completely in the dark. Light to me represents faith. So even if you're in a, a dark house, you know, sometimes we see movies and it's this dark house, but there's this window at the top and that window kind of beams inside. And that, that little beam of light is enough for you to see something to create a bigger hole and, and then from that hole create a bigger hole until eventually you completely change your perspective because a little more light comes into the room and a little more light and a little more light. That light can really alter so many things. It can really take you to a better place. And so this video is for people who really feel like they've been knocked down, uh, totally in the dark about certain things, completely sideswiped. You're the one that I want to talk to because you, like me, still have a vision, but the sight doesn't look good. It looks like darkness. It looks like you're in the dark. Relationships, confused about them. Um, personal goals, can't quite get there. Uh, discipline level is just trash right now. I want to encourage you because that faith, your faith is going to be the turning point for your circumstance. Your faith is the turning point of the situation. If you shed more light into a dark place, the darkness doesn't have the option to stand there. So how much light do you have? In a dark room, do you have a cell phone flashlight amount of light? Or do you have a lamp amount of light or do you have let's take the roof off this joint while the sun is shining at the highest peak of noon in a day do you have that kind of light what kind of faith are you working with if you have a little bit of faith you're going to get a little bit of results you have a medium amount of faith you're going to get medium results if you have big faith guess what the byproduct of big faith big actions big works is going to be big results for you who feel like i'm in darkness right now i'm in the dark I want to encourage you. I want to shake your faith. I want to tell you your vision is not too dark. Your vision is not too dim. Your vision is, is one of the guiding lights for you. Your vision and your faith can line up. When it aligns the right way, it moves darkness out of the way. The only reason I'm telling you to be comfortable in dark times is because we're all going to experience dark times. No one's life is 100% just illuminated and bright. We have dark places in our life. That makes you human. That makes you okay as a person. You're not a failure because you have a, a, a weak moment. You're not a failure because you have a dark moment in your life. You're not a failure for that reason. You're human for that reason. You're a person for that reason. And, and let that be the reason for humility. Let that be the reason for love. Let that be the reason for perseverance, for, uh, for helping someone else out, for being able to relate and I feel like you got it all together. Darkness is not the worst part of who you are. If you quit in the darkness, that could be, but we're not going to quit. We're going to persevere. We're going to push through. We're going to be triumphant because we're going to continue to add light to the situation. We're going to continue to add faith to the situation. I hope you like the video. I hope you do subscribe. I hope you do share it. I hope you do comment. Tell me about what you're doing to add more light to your situation. Tell me about how you're illuminating your situation. Tell me about how you're making your day brighter, how you're making someone else's day brighter. I encourage you. I believe in you. I hope the best for you. Uh, and I am shedding light to you because I know you deserve it and you need it like I do too. Uh, 
uh, please do like, share, comment, subscribe. Thank you for checking us out. Another episode of React. Peace.